It's Siwi and Arcanine puts in the finest of work in today's battle. It's absolutely amazing. You do not want to miss this. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're battling versus Kafkafoon in the OU tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. I've also noticed that only 36% of people watching this video are actually subscribed to the channel. So just double check that you subscribe because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people for some reason. And if you weren't subscribed in the first place, why not subscribe? It's free. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump to the team preview. Okay, I've got Deja Vu. That looks like my team to me, the team that I'm using. So I guess we're having a head-to-head -head, <laughs> one team versus another. At least we don't have to worry about Zamazenta again, eh? Has <laughs> I think we lead off with his elf and they'll probably lead off with his elf and get the stealth rocks up and all that wonderful stuff. Let's see who can use this team better, me or Kafkafoon. And the battle begins, so Kafkafoon's gonna lead off with Spillage to the Alolan Muk. I know all too well the Spillage to the Alolan Muk. Um, I know it's an Assault Vest set, it's got all four attacking moves, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, probably gonna go for a knockoff right now when they'll probably get the Poison Touch as well, so I'm gonna go straight into my Corviknight. I don't need to use, I don't need to lose my Azelf just yet when there's no reason to. Um, I'll just get Stealth Rocks up another time. We also have the Great Tusk, which has Stealth, stealth Rocks, so if we need to get Stealth Rocks up later on, perfectly fine so i know exactly what to go into here we're going to great tusk great tusk is probably better to deal with this than corviknight and also we don't want to lose a rocky helmet just yet they go for a knockoff that's going to knock off our leftovers um which is absolutely fine by me uh, tuscany doesn't need leftovers um as we're going to go for a stealth rock right now get them stealth rocks up and we just have to worry about the tuscany um, rapid spinning away so they're going to withdraw spillage what are they going to go into there that's the real question they're going to go into coffee which is of course the azelf so the Azelf comes in. We're going to go for a Stealth Frog. Nice and powerful. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, as now, all we have to do is go back into our Alolan Muk. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. Go into our Alolan Muk real quick. <clears throat> nice and powerful. Nice and powerful. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alolan Muk. Gotta love it. I'm glad Alolan Muk's back. It's a really cool Pokemon. Um, so anyway, Stealth Rocks are up on our side of the field as well, which is unfortunate, but what can you do about that? Not a lot. And um, then I have a Ghost type, then I have a Terra Ghost Eva, which is great. So I'm going to go for a knockoff and get a free knockoff off. They go for the U-turn, does about the same amount of damage as we did earlier to them. So Kafkafoon's, you're using the team pretty well so far. Using the team pretty well so far, um, I would say. They're probably going to go into the Great Tusk now, which is absolutely fine by me. I do not mind that whatsoever. If we can get the Poison Touch on that, that would be absolutely amazing. So in comes the Great Tusk, lovely jovely. Poison Stone's going to dig in. We're going to get some nice powerful knockoff off. And can we get a Poison Touch? That'd be nice. We got the Poison Touch! That was nice. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, anyway. Anyway. Um, we're going to get some uh, good Poison Damage off on the Tuscany, which is great. Probably going to see a Rapid Spin right now. So, I'm going to go straight into Corviknight real quick. Corviknight obviously has the Rocky Helmet. They do make a switch, though. They make the switch probably into Arcanine, right? Dragulus, that's the uh, Regidrago. So, Regidrago is not a bad one. Um, it's going to get some stones damage put in, into it. Uh, we just go into Corviknight real quick. There we go, Corviknight comes on in. Let's see what this Regidrago wants to do. Let's see what it wants to do. So, Corviknight comes on in. Get some Stealth Rock damage and all that wonderful stuff. And um, we're going to exert some pressure. I think the best thing to do here is probably expect them... To, they're probably going to switch out, right? And they probably switch out into Arcanine. So I think I'll go for a Body Press here if I wanted to. I think I'll go for a Body Press. I think I will go for a Body Press. They go for the Dragon Energy. The animation for Dragon Energy looks sick. What the hell? I do prefer the Sword and Shield one, but that looks amazing. Right, okay. So we are a bit screwed right now. So what we need to do is, because it's a special attacker, we need to go back into Alola Muk. Alola Muk is obviously a Assault, assault Vest. So it's a bit difficult to um, damage it with special attacks. But Brady Drago does hit incredibly hard with its Dragon type moves. So we've got to watch out for that. So Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. They go for a Dragon Energy. It's going to do... Oh, it does way too much damage. It does way too much damage. And now my Alolan Muk's disappeared. Where's he gone? Give her a knockoff real quick. They go for another Dragon Energy. That's obviously going to take us out, unfortunately. Reggie Drago is putting in the absolute work right now. What a beast. What a beast, but we know it's choice specs. We know it's locked in. We can go into something faster. And we can just fire up a head smash, for example, with this thing. So we're going to Legion. Legion the Arcanine, nice and powerful. Got to get some Stealth Rock dug into us, which is unfortunate. 
Um, I'm going to expect them to probably go into the uh, Great Tusk, and I'm going to go straight for a Flare Blitz instead. Flare Blitz will do a lot of damage to the Reggie Drago to the point where Dragon Energy won't be able to KO anymore. Anyway, so that should be fine. And they withdraw the Reggie Drago. Are they going to go into the uh, Great Tusk? Probably. They go into the... Oh, they go into the Corviknight. That's even better. Even better. We go straight for that Flare Blitz. It's going to be able to easily take out the Corviknight. Surely it can take out the Corviknight. As Arcanine finally gets a KO, which is absolutely amazing. With no recoil damage whatsoever other than Rocky Helmet. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely perfecto. That worked out really nicely for us. Really nicely for us. In comes Tuscany the Great Tusk. So we do our speed. We could go for another Flare Blitz. Um, but I think we're probably better off not doing that. Um, I think we're good enough to save Arcanine for later. And I'm going to go into my Corviknite. The reason I'm going into Corviknight is because I know this thing's just going to knock off probably, or Earthquake. Um, hopefully the Earthquake, if it's the latter and the knockoff, then so be it. And um, we'll just have to deal with that as it comes. Um, as we're going to exert some pressure as well, which is always nice. They go for a Rapid Spin, which is of course going to get some Rocky Helmet chip damage off on them. They're also going to raise their speed, which is good to note. Um, as they're also going to get poisoned as well, so that's pretty awesome. So the Tuscany is going down slowly but surely. Um, I kind of want to go for the Roost right now. Kind of want to go for the Roost right now and then go for a U-turn afterwards. Because they're probably going to switch into either Arcanine or they're going to go for a knockoff trying to get the KO. A knockoff may KO us. Knockoff may KO us. It does KO us. So we did get some Rocky Helmet chip off at least. Um, which is always nice. But this does give us a, a free switch into our Great Tusk, which is great. So uh, they're obviously going to get hurt by Poison severely and all that wonderful stuff. Um, if we go into Great Tusk right now, we are going to be golden. So they're faster than us, so they can't stop Stealth Rocks after we Rapid Spin, which is great. Absolutely great for us. Um, as I'm going to go straight for that Rapid Spin once again and take out this Tuscany real quick. They go for an EQ just to get a maximum amount of damage on our Great Tusk, which is absolutely fine by me. We go for a Rapid Spin, nearly takes out the Tuscany. The Poison's going to be able to finish it off afterwards, no problem. Get a nice little speed boost, get rid of the Stealth Rocks, and now the Tuscany goes down to the poison which is great so great tusk goes down that's a great big threat out of the way great big threat out of the way. I, I, you know what enough times passed great tusk is greater than landorus Ferian. i'm gonna say it now i'm saying it right now there's nothing you can do about it i've said it now i've, I've, I've just said it so anyway let's go for a stealth front real quick just in case they want to go for a a U-turn or something expecting the switch, but they don't. They go straight for the Mystical Power, which is going to boost their special attack in return, which is absolutely fine by me, um, because we can just go in straight into something else right now. Um, something that I can handle this, uh, being our own Uxie. So we'll go into Uxie real quick. Oh, I've only had um, a load of Muck alive still. That'd be ideal. That'd be ideal. So, what we can do now is... We can go for a Mystical Power, break the Focus Sash, which would be ideal. And now that we've gone for the Mystical Power, broke the so Sash, we're going to get a nice and powerful special attack boost, which is great. As they go for a U-turn, which is going to take us right down to half HP. So that's pretty good. Um, Noah's Elf Sweep for this this time. But the fact that we've got rid of the... Um, the fact that we've got rid of the um, Focus Sash is the most important part. So, obviously, Spillage comes in right now. We can't really do anything to it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell Stealth Rocks one more time. Because we didn't get to do it before. So I'm going to sell Stealth Rocks. I'm going to let Azelf go down. There we go. Stealth Rocks are back up. It's going to hurt that Arlon and Arcanine. It's going to hurt the Azelf. It's going to hurt everything. They go for a Drain Punch, expecting us to switch into the Arcanine more than likely, which is fair enough. I didn't want to switch anything into this thing. I really didn't want to switch anything in. So this is actually a good opportunity for us. Um, because it means that we can actually... No, oh no, we can't really do anything here. We have to let Azelf go down. That's for sure. So I guess... Even though I know he's not got any attacking moves, I'm just going to taunt it anyway. Because why not? <laughs> I just want to let Azelf go down at this point. I just want to let Azelf go down at this point. Because I've got no switchings to this thing. Go for a knockoff. Take it out. Azelf goes down, unfortunately. But what can you do about that? As now, it's time... For the Arcanine. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go into the Arcanine real quick. So we're going to Arcanine real quick. There we go. Nice and powerful. Nice and lovely jubbly. 
Go for that head smash. Just get a KO. Let's get a KO. If we, we head smash, we KO. We head smash, we KO. Unless we miss. They're going to withdraw Spillage. What are they going to go into to take a uh, head smash from this Arcanine right now? They go into their own Arcanine? Is it just in case we miss? Please don't miss. 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 We don't miss, which is great. Down goes the other Arcanine, which is absolutely fantastic. So Arcanine gets to go in the thumbnail. Dre Reggie Drago gets to go in the thumbnail. God, I love it. I I'm looking forward to making the thumbnail for this video. So Dragulus comes in. Now, we should outspeed Dragulus, I believe. I don't think they can really do anything here. So let's go for another head smash. Head smash comes through. Boom! Down goes the Reggie Drago. Absolutely brilliant. Gotta love it. So their only play really is to go into the Azelf and go for a Mystical Power. I think they lose to Arcanine here though. I'm pretty sure they lose to Arcanine here. In comes Spillage. So I think the only way they can really win this is if they can weaken my Arcanine somehow. And the only way that's going to happen is if we miss Head Smash, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they're banking on right now. So let's go for that Head Smash. We don't miss. We have three in a row. Down goes the Alolan Muk, and look at all this recoil damage we're not taking. Rockhead is such a brilliant ability with a Pokemon that has Head Smash, that also gets Stab Head Smash. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. So, in comes Coffee. In comes Coffee. Let's see if Arcanine can actually hit this Head Smash last time. They're going to Terra to get the maximum amount of power of the Mystical Power, which makes a lot of sense to me. Is it going to be enough, though? Is it going to be enough, though, to get the KO? Azelf could easily call, pull this back. Azelf could very easily pull this back. If they get a crit, or if this is just enough to KO us, then they could easily pull this back. So Mystical Power comes through. Nearly KOs us. Can we hit the uh, Head Smash? Can we please hit the Head Smash? Head Smash comes through. And down goes the Azelf. Arcanine came through with a triumphant victory. What an absolute legendary battle this was between the two of this. It was a mirror match. A mirror match. That's crazy. So even though my opponent knew my team, and even though I knew their team, it was still a pretty good game. It still came right down to the wire. Really fun. Hisui and Arcanine got to do something really cool today, which is great. And Reggie Drago also demonstrated some of its power, which is amazing. So GG Kafkafoon, that's a pretty fun game. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.